Chef Kim here. Today I'm going to show you a terrific recipe, potato crusted salmon. And it's topped with a cucumber dill cream sauce. Wait till you try this out. Now it's not exactly low cal, but a lot of my recipes are. So we have to have a good rich one every once in a while. So you stick around and watch this recipe. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you first off how to skin the salmon. Even though it's just a partial piece, it works the same as if you had a whole side. So first thing you want to have is a towel because you need something to grip onto the skin. And then you want to make a little bit of a cut. Like you want to separate the salmon and the skin. See? how it is right there. Well, I want to make it, it all the way across so that I can get my knife in there. Okay, so you might find it's easier to do it with a smaller knife, but you need to have a knife that's wider than the fish. Okay, so let's see if we can get this. The towel likes to get in the way. Now, you're going to want to angle your knife like this. See how it is? It's not flat. It's up. You're going to go against the skin and really what you're going to do is hold the knife still and you're going to pull the skin. See how? I'm holding on to it with this towel because it's too slippery to hold on to with my fingers. And then I have my knife angled. Whoop. Actually you can do it with a paper towel too. Maybe you'll be able to see better what I'm doing. As you can see so far, I've taken off quite a bit. Okay, so back to angling the knife and pull. I'm having a hard time getting a good grip. Okay, and just keep pulling the skin. See, look, there's nothing, nothing left on that skin. Okay, all right, now as you can see, the salmon is completely skinless. All right. So let's cut a piece of fish. Let's go with about that much. Now, in the meantime, I do have my pan on, and it's on high. It's on medium high right now, so it's easier to. Yeah, you get a little on the floor. That's okay. And you want enough to coat one side. You're not going to do both sides. Now we're going to add a little egg to the potatoes. And then we're also going to season it with a little salt and some dill weed. That makes it taste terrific. And then we're going to adhere it to the salmon. Now, make sure you don't make too thick of a coat. You don't want it to be thick. You just want it to be spread out on the entire surface. Okay. See how that is? It's not super thick just perfect. You might want to use a spatula to pick the salmon up to put it into the pan because we have to flip it over. And uh, granted the potatoes are stuck on there but they're not super glued so they still can come off. And you want just enough olive oil to coat it lightly. You don't want too much. All right here we go. And now we just leave it alone for about five minutes. Keep the temperature on medium. You want it to be sizzling. You don't want it to burn. So don't go too far away. And if you have to, you can lift it up a little bit, but don't even touch it for a minimum of three minutes. Now I want you to look at this salmon. As you can see, it's starting to turn a pink down the bottom. So it's about halfway cooked. 
Now let's take a little peek. I may not be able to do this on camera. Yes, yeah, let's turn it over. Perfect. Perfect. Now this side, we only need to cook it about two, maybe three minutes. But that's it. So after two minutes, I would just go ahead and shut the heat off. Now while the salmon's cooking, I'm going to show you a tricky way to peel and de-seed the cucumber. Of course, peeling, this is no fancy trick, but the de-seeding is. So let's go ahead and take all the skin off. Now cut it in half. And then start at the small end. Like, as you can see, the, it's wider here with the seeds, and this is the narrow end. And use your peeler. Use the back of the peeler. You have to have this kind, good old-fashioned kind. And just put it in there. You can use a spoon, but I tell you, the back of the peeler works best. Look at that. All the seeds right out. We don't want the seeds in this sauce. You really don't want them in a cooked like cucumber soup. You want to take them out too. Now I'm going to slice up the cucumber and I want it to be fairly thin just into half moon. I want to show you something else too. I want to show you how to prepare a leek. Now I love leeks. They're a very mild onion. They're not like a green onion. They may look like them, but the flavor is stronger and much better. You just have to try it to see. Now on a green onion, you use the green bark, but on a leek, you use all of this you don't use the outside part that's dark green and you do have to be careful because the dirt can get all the way inside so what you want to do we're not going to use too much of this so i'm just going to do part of it you want to cut slits kind of like on the green onion garnish. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. And then you want to go ahead and soak this in some cold water or just rinse it. And actually this looks really clean. Does not look bad at all. Some are worse. Some are really dirty. Now we just want to cut it nice and thin. I would compare a leek to a shallot. Some chefs love shallots and that's all they use. I prefer leeks over shallots. Just have personal preference. You have to try it yourself. So let's get the sauce going. I like to do sauces in a broader pan rather than a small shallow sauce pot because the vegetables that I'm cooking in most sauces anyway need more uh, surface exposure. If your sauce has no vegetables to be browned, then it doesn't matter. You can certainly use a smaller pot. So let's put a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to add those wonderful leeks. Leeks will never make your eyes tear up. But we do need a little oil to cook, to cook the cucumbers in. Now you keep your heat on medium high here. We want to get a little bit of color onto these cucumbers. I'm going to put a little bit of dill on the cucumbers too. If you have fresh dill, that's even better. Our salmon is beautiful. It's nice and crispy. So here's our cucumbers. They're browning up. So we're going to go ahead and add some wine. A little bit of lemon. Let that reduce just a minute. We're going to add the cream. Now I want to turn my heat down low at this point. Just want it simmering. 
And then over here I have some cold cubed butter. I'm going to go ahead and work this into the cucumber sauce. This is actually called a beurre blanc. <laughs> now, once you start adding the butter, go ahead and shut your temperature off on the stove because there's enough heat left in the pan that it's going to finish this sauce and you don't want it to boil once you add the butter. Now you want to swirl it around like this. You can use a whip and you can add a little bit more cream. That'll stabilize it a little more. And as it sits, it's going to get a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to turn it on just a tad. I want to bring it back to a boil, but I'm going to be really careful. Mm. That's good. You can just do grilled salmon out on your barbecue and make this sauce. You'll be a hit of the party. Look at that. It's a beautiful, wonderful tasting sauce.